Brave warriors! I have won great renown through leading men to victory. The girls fool themselves and think they are our equals or better. I think they have the stench of death about them. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs. So unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. There have been many portents, both good and bad. With such confusion in the heavens, it is up to us to forge our own destiny. We go now to our bloody business! Now if that doesn't get your blood pumping and ready for the coming conquest, I don't know what will. But as Rome's an older game, there are a few differences to modern Total War games that you may want to know if jumping in for the first time, or be reminded of if it's been a while. Back in the day, you couldn't hack down a gate with a sword and a can-do attitude. If the settlement has a wall, which you can see in this screen, you'll need to build siege equipment before you can even attempt an attack. Defending units become immune to routing if they fight in the main settlement square. Soldiers fight to the bitter end for the glory of Rome, or in defiance of it. Your foe knows how to hold a grudge. If you wanted to keep the spoils of war, you needed to end your enemies. Permanently. Otherwise, they'll constantly be back to harass you. Unlike newer Total War games, units don't automatically replenish. If you want to get your boys back up and fighting fit, you need to retrain others to refill the ranks. Of course, this takes time and money, and can only be done within the safety of your settlements. Your cities are a blank canvas, ready for you to design and manage however you see fit. Not every road needed to lead to Rome, not if you didn't want them to. Make a fully military-based city, go all in on farming and population growth, or both. It's completely up to you. You could trade your way from city-state to city-state, hoovering up regions with the subtle arts of diplomacy and trade. Merchants have been added to establish trade, monopolize resources, and even buy out rivals. Every unit can lead an army. Armies are more fluid in Rome, adding more strategy to play. If you're waist deep in enemy territory and a few of your units are in a bad way, just send them home to patch up and retrain new units. Equally, you can bolster your forces with units from another army, or completely split your army if you want to go after two targets at the same time. Establishing trade was as simple as... As simple as... Ah... Uh, I, I forget. Hold on. Ah... Uh, yep, yep, yep. For every question, there was the beloved manual. But no more. All your questions answered with a few clicks. No longer will you forget a feature or accidentally give your capital away for nothing in return. Whoops. Good music.